Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Dia Wall with KSHB 41. These are your headlines for Tuesday, November 16th. Several employers here in Missouri have filed a lawsuit challenging the vaccine mandate. It requires employees at businesses with 100 or more workers to get vaccinated or get weekly COVID-19 tests. The lawsuit claims that OSHA, which is enforcing the mandate, exceeds its statutory authority. Lee Summit police closed off one entrance of the new Whataburger restaurant in hopes of calming the traffic down on that main thoroughfare. Customers will now navigate a few backgrounds to line up to the restaurant, which opened yesterday. During yesterday's opening, traffic was backed up in one lane of Douglas Street, at times stretching through a couple of traffic lights. Police are going to keep up this new routing of traffic from 10 a.m. through 8 p.m. through this Sunday. The Red Bridge Family YMCA will close December 17th because of decreased membership since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. The YMCA of Greater Kansas City says financial resources are limited. It's no longer sustainable to operate that Red Bridge Family YMCA. Members will receive an email and a letter about continuing their membership at another location. The two closest YMCA locations are the Paul Henson Family YMCA in Prairie Village and the Cleaver Family YMCA in Kansas City, Missouri. Here's Gary Lisak. Hey, dear, 50 degrees tomorrow for the high. How, actually, though, the high temperature is going to come in at midnight, 61 degrees with a 20% chance of a shower and then turning colder back down to 50 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow afternoon. 48 degrees Thursday, 50 Friday, 55 Saturday, 54 degrees on Sunday. As you can see, it should be really good out at Arrowhead for that big game. And then late next week, Thanksgiving and Black Friday, a storm system may affect us more on that in the next few days. Remember to get your news and weather anytime at KSHP.com.